In this video, we're going to talk about the unexplained death. Cyan unravels her mother's darkest secrets. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Misery, issue number three in the Spawn universe. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Misery, Cyan delves deeper into the mystery surrounding her mother's death. So we begin in this courtroom right here. Before we take the story forward, this judge is looking to make a possible probation or give a five to eight year range of a sentence. So the DA talks to Peter about, you know, does this punk really deserve all that? Yes, I want to push it to the max. I want the sentence to set an example for any future crimes implied or committed or whatnot. So the DA asks, well, what's up with your wife? I usually see her around dropping files around. Is she around or what? Yeah, she's fighting the flu of some sort. Well, bummer because we really miss her. So who is his wife? Remember in issue two, Jen, the girl that keeps getting beat by him and also in issue number one, that's his wife. She has a black eye and her son brings a teddy bear to help make her feel better. But back to Cyan, she's looking over this medical certificate and Granny Blake is asking Cyan for some water and Cyan's like, okay, she looks kind of annoyed by it. Like, do you want any ice? But Granny Blake is not only blind, but she's acting deaf right now. So Cyan's like, whatever, okay, I'll do what I gotta do. So Granny Blake goes over her shoulder like, what are you doing? And Cyan's like, I'm just finishing up some homework. You know, I got this big science project that's due on Thursday. It's pretty important. It counts towards 30% of my grade. So Granny Blake is like, well, I wish I could help you there, but I wasn't much of a student when I was younger. And though I'm not prying, I'm just curious, why are you and your daddy ain't getting along these days? Because in issue number one, Cyan ran away from Terry Fitzgerald. And Cyan tells her, look, I don't know. He like doesn't seem to care what's happening to me all that much. Oh no, says Granny Blake. He cares and he loves you very much. And Cyan's like, okay, look, I just really miss mom a lot. Well, we all do. Well, Cyan's like, Granny, if someone did something really bad to you, what would you do? Well, if it was really bad, first thing I'll do is go to the cops. I'll, go, I'll call the police. I guess that gives her the next step of this. So later on, she goes to the subway. A gentleman sits next to her and he's like, look, I don't mean to bother you, but your friend Al, Al Simmons, aka Spawn, we know our boy, right? If, of course you do if you follow this channel. So Al sent me to check on you to see how you're doing if you need anything. And Cyan's like, so he's stalking me now? Tell him I'm fine. Well, your face doesn't look like it. That's my problem. Al has to trust I know what I'm doing. What he's referencing is, is when Cyan's face met some hands in a previous issue or two. And this guy's like, look, Al does know what you're doing, but he also knows you're looking for answers regarding your mom's death. The problem is, if you keep poking that bear, you're going to find some answers that you don't want to see. And if you aren't prepared, the people are going to kill you because you're a threat to them. And Cyan's like, I don't care. If you know who killed my mom, I want to know who they are. And this guy is like in a very ominous way, like, <laughs> that's your job to figure out. Mine is to simply say, you might not like the answers you find. Al said to start with where your mom worked. He also said to be careful. So she goes to the burger house and she asks her friend Brooke, like, hey, I need to borrow your phone again. And Brooke is like, okay, well, good to see you, but what do you want my phone for? I don't know, I just want to Google some stuff. And Brooke is like, look, I'm trying to figure out, girl. Like, first you say I can't be with you. Use my phone to text my friends that I hate you. Now you need me, but I really want to help you. And I know you say it's dangerous, but I really want to be your friend right now. And Cyan's like, look, I can't take your help. Just don't ask me why. And Brooke is like, even from me. And Cyan's like, yes, even from you. So I'm just your freaking friend whenever you need it. That's my phone. All right, look, I, you know, forget you. Go get your own freaking phone and find another best friend. So obviously, we get what Cyan's trying to do is to protect her friend Brooke from getting involved. But Brooke wants to help out. But because Cyan's not letting her, Brooke is just having a fit about it. So in Cyan's room, she's looking over this medical checkup, which leads to Detective Jen. And I wonder if that's the Detective Jen with the one with the black eye from earlier. So her paperwork trail leads her to St. Joseph Adolescent Treatment Center. She goes in, she makes herself invisible, and she goes past this guy that's excited to take little Annie to Disneyland over the phone, but he hears a noise. He gets up and he investigates that noise. And moments later, he comes across Cyan. And Cyan's like, uh-uh, boo, I won't call security if I were you. What the freak you doing in my office? You're that girl. There's lots of people looking for you. And Cyan's like, yeah, I know, but none of them are the police. Why? Why, when I went missing, didn't you report that? What are you hiding from them? 
go to hell you're just a junkie and science like yeah i'm a junkie that you created and i won't even ask why i know how greed works on weak people so i'll be back once i get these files that i'm taking all right so deuces and the guy pulls out a gun on science like you ain't going nowhere actually i am says science because these files these little pictures of kid on your phone i've already sent them and i've sent it to someone who'll give them to the media and your wife i'm sure that'll put a damper on your disneyland plans so here's my deuces but it's in one finger and not two you get the drift so across town three hours later cyan goes to the deli shop and she's following the trail that this mysterious guy tells her courtesy of al simmons she dresses up like a very promiscuous girl trying to go fishing you know what i mean so later on in the night nypd pulls up and says ladies not too smart and the one are trying to be dressed like they should have been dressing warmer and cyan looks at him and sees the picture and she's like yes that's my mark well you tell your girl Shen that they got another hour that i'm shutting it down i'm serious says his brother from the nypd and he's like wait a minute looking at cyan i ain't never seen you before get that booty get that cake in my car let's make a bakery <laughs> forgive me for saying that as she's IDing the brother but before we go any further to this issue this video is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to rated comics youtube channel with all that being said let's get back into the content so she ids him he's asking her let's have some fun she's like no get away but he grabs her arm and injects her with something and whatever he injects her with you know it's it's we don't know but it's meant to knock her out but because they touched each other it's the same connection that triggered her last episode with the same mind exploding of horrid images splattering across both their minds revealing all at once the sadistic and cruel acts of this officer has perpetrated upon those he has sworn to protect this officer johnny that's his name he was one of the photos cyan found in her stolen files she wanted to know why a cop was involved with a drug rehab center Though she may never get her answer as the two of them fall further and further into the dark arms of the macabre until they wake up and when they wake up he's out cold and looking worse than he did before and sign is out cold but we don't know where they're at and how this is going and this is going darker and darker as cyan unravels the secret and the darkest secret of her mother's death but that is the end of misery issue number three what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comments exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry with all that being said thank you again for watching until next time